Good morning, good morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Teacher Dex Channel TV. So today is Feb 15. It's already 8, 10 in my wristwatch. I would like to welcome you again in my online classroom. So this time we will be talking about on how we're going to keep our productive system healthy. So what are the things that we are going to do to make our uh, reproductive system healthy? So I'll be discussing with you one by one. So first we have the male reproductive system and we have the female reproductive system. I will discuss about the different organs and different parts of these systems and their functions. So this time I would like to discuss with you on how we are going to keep the reproductive, reproductive system healthy. Okay, so let us try to begin keeping the male reproductive system healthy. Number one, to prevent hernias, men should be very careful when lifting heavy objects. Ayan, para maiwasan po yung lus-lus na sinasabi natin, ang mga kalalakihan dapat po ay hindi basta-basta magbubuhat ng mga mabibigat. Sa mga nagjichimchan, yung mga naglilifting okay it is important to thoroughly clean the external organs first the penis and the scrotum daily preferably during a shower or bath so wag na wag pong kalimutang linisin yun yung uh, penis and the scrotum the scrotum is a pouch or is a pouch skin that protects the testes and the groin area, o yung singit, okay? The groin area, the area of the external organs should be protected during athletic activities by wearing a protective or a protector or what we call the supporter. Sa mga athletics po, no? So, kailangan nyo mag-wear ng mga ng supporter, ng protector, okay? Now, we have tight clothing should be avoided since tight trousers, jeans, or underwear can irritate or cause pain in the groin area. Tight jeans increase testicular problems. So yung mga mahigpit, yung mga masisikip na uh, damit, o yung mga pantalon, mga underwear, so dapat hindi po yun. So wag na wag pong gamitin po yung mga ganun. Okay, so that's all about how to keep the male reproductive system healthy. Yun lang po yun. How we're going to maintain and how we're going to keep our male reproductive system healthy. So this time, let's proceed naman po on how we're going to keep the female reproductive system healthy. Number one, during the menstrual period or the monthly period, cleanliness is especially important. Okay. Hormonal changes may cause the skin and hair to become oily and the body to perspire more heavily. Use mild soap to wash the external organs. Ayan. So, important po yun yung gamit yung sabon. Dapat mild lang para hindi ma-irritate po yung skin. Okay? When, when the menstrual flow mixes with air outside the body, it can develop a slight odor. So, ayun po. Be very careful kapag may menstruation at yung napasukan po ng konting hangin po yan magkakaroon po ng kakaibang amoy. It is important to change sanitary pads and tampons. You know what is tampons? Is it sinasabi nila sa Filipino Pasador? Every few hours. Okay? So, ayan mga girls wag na wag po kayong uh, makalimot magdala ng baon yung sandwich or yung sinasabi nilang san sanitary pads. Baka mamaya unpredictable yung menstruation mo, tapos nagkaroon ka bigla. So, dapat alam nyo po yon para hindi kayo nakakaya na hihingi-hingi maghahanap ng sanitary pads sa mga kaklase o sa mga kasama. Okay? Kapag umalis ng bahay alam nyo na magkakaroon po kayo ng monthly period, then that's the time you have to bring with you your sanitary pads. Okay? Now, it is important to change sanitary pads as what I've told you as, uh, as frequent as if it is possible. No? 
a uh, female hygiene spray deodorants douches and deodorant tampons are not necessary so bakit kaya no yung may may pabango na tampons eh hindi pwede kasi po number one, kapag uh, may amoy po yan hindi nyo malalaman if there are infections Kasi yung amoy na dapat pong maamoy nyo ay tinatakpan po ng pabango na nakalagay po doon sa pasador. Okay? Or doon sa sanitary napkins. Okay? So, in fact, they may be harmful because okay, they may cover up signs of an infections. If normal body odors are not eliminated through washing, then it is important to seek medical attention. Okay? For medical attention naman, you really need to go obstetrician or gynecologist. Obstetrician siya sabi ko sa mga buntis, sa gynecologist sa mga sakit po ng reproductive system. Girls. For athletic female, always wear protective clothes such as sports bra. Okay, sports bra po para hindi po kayo magkaroon po ng uh, sakit po doon. Yun lang po yung masasabi ko for the female reproductive system and how we are going to keep it healthy. So, ayan naman is, I would like to share with you important tips to maintain good health. It's not something to do with the reproductive system. It's either male or female reproductive system because I've already discussed some on how you're going, some tips on how you're going to keep your reproductive system healthy. But this time, I would like to share with you some important tips to maintain good health. First, visit the doctor for regular checkups and follow the doctor's advice. Why do we need to do that? Para alam po natin kung ang problema sa katawan natin. And kung may problema sa katawan natin, ma-advise po tayo ng doktor. Kapag may advice po yung doktor, huwag na wag po natin ipapagsantabi po yun. Okay? Next, Vitamins containing B complex and folic acids are necessary for the formation of the red blood cells. So at uh, age 40, dapat nagkakaroon na tayo ng B complex. Nagkaka mayroon na tayong tinitake po dapat na B complex. Avoid drinking alcohol and cigarette smoking. Ayan. Pero paminsan-minsan, tagay-tagay, okay lang. And definitely avoid cigarette smoking. Dental care is important for your over, overall health. So, visit your dentist also. Reduce the amount of high cholesterol food you eat and avoid salty foods. High cholesterol and salty foods para iwas ang high blood, iwas ang bato, walang sakit. Learn to manage stress. Number one po yan. Learn to manage stress. Sino kaya yung mga stressor sa buhay natin? Huwag na tayo may stress. Lalong-lalo na ngayon, pandemic, no? So, huwag na tayong may stress. Iwasan po yung mga stressors natin sa buhay. Okay? Number one, matulog po ng ma maayos. It should be eight hours ang sleep po natin. Learn to manage your stress. Avoid the stressors para hindi may stress. Okay? Proper nutrition is very important to sustain health. Proper nutrition po. So, kumain po ng... A healthy diet, vegetable, of course, mayroon tayong rice, and then mayroon tayong proteins, okay? Extra calories, proteins, iron, and calcium are also needed. Eating fresh vegetable and fruits are necessary. So, yun po yun, and how to make our, uh, our body healthy. Paki, these are only tips. These are only some of the tips that I could share with you. So, that's all for today. So, ayan guys. Kapag nagustuhan niyo po ang video na to, do not forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel, Teacher Dex Channel TV. At sa mga hindi pa po nakapag-subscribe ng ating YouTube channel, subscribe po ang YouTube channel ni Teacher Dex. Okay? This will be our official online tutorial in science class by teacher Dex. So that will that will be all. Maraming maraming salamat po. God bless everyone.